So first of all, Alyssa, if you could just introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about your role and also about the firm uh, that you work at. My name's Alyssa and I'm a partner at Hazel and Field, which is a regional firm in New South Wales. I'm one of four partners uh, and our team consists of both in-house and remote-based members. Uh, and we made the switch to carbon in about 2018. Uh, like most businesses, we're currently in an environment where we're seeing more of our staff work from home or from remote-based locations, uh, and the, the switch to carbon became quite necessary for us uh, in terms of workflow management. And if you can take us back to before, before you had carbon, so what was it that actually, what were the challenges or pain points you were dealing with uh, that force you to look for a solution such as carbon? Our main challenges were workflow management uh, and internal communication, which was quite inefficient. Uh, the internal communication efficiencies were mainly centered around getting client information back into the office uh, first and foremost, but then to the right person in the office. Uh, so checking that all of the information had been received and then getting that to the right team member uh, it was just taking too long and it was just a complete waste of time um, and not very exciting for anybody to have to deal with. And how did you come across carbon? Were you, did you weigh it up against different options or did, were you referred to it from a, diff, from a friend or anything like that? Initially, we heard about carbon at a conference and then we spoke to a few people in the industry uh, and very quickly, Justin and I jumped onto a webinar to see what it was all about. Uh, and from there, we fell in love almost straight away and uh, presented that to the other two partners in our firm um, with uh, a very quick decision made by all of it once we could see the power of carbon for the whole team. And once you made that choice uh, to settle on carbon, uh, implementing across, across your team and a firm of your size, were there any challenges? What was that onboarding process like? Our carbon contacts were Andy and Ian, uh, and both of them held our hand through the onboarding extremely well. Initially, we, Justin and I had a meeting uh, as the change managers uh, to see how to implement and set up, get all of the data across, which was really painless. And then Ian and, and Andy spoke to the whole team for us uh, via a virtual training session. Um, so good was that implementation by Carbon that we didn't even need our two months follow up down the track. Our whole team were already very comfortable with it uh, and we were all using it to the best of its ability very quickly. Fantastic. And if you fast forward to today, what would you uh, say, what, what's been the biggest difference that Carbon has made? What, what, what process has been impacted the most? Uh, Carbon has probably had impact um, on two things. It's hard to narrow down which one we are more in love with, and that would be the client task portal, getting information back from our clients and to the right person. It's just an extremely organised process. Uh, and also that internal communication control. Uh, when a staff member is absent, whether that's for a day or even longer, Carbon's internal communication, those comments and that thread with on a, on a work item allow anyone in the team to pick up a job uh, and know exactly where it's up to and not have any communication gaps. So both the external with our clients has made us look much more organised and efficient and then internally, it's allowed us to avoid downtime that we were having when a staff member was away, um, which also causes internal frustration. But it also, from our client point of view, can make us look inefficient if we're requesting information that they believe they've already sent in. And in terms of those existing challenges you're dealing with, particularly um, to, the, to the workflow you were talking about earlier, how has Carbon helped you solve any of those challenges? Uh, Carbon's saved our client management, management staff hours and hours a week. Um, it's also reduced that downtime on jobs. So rather than jobs staying in the office for a few days or a few weeks without anybody realising the information that came back in, uh, it's now very quickly identifiable by all of our team members on if, we're, if and what we're waiting on. Um, and the ability to remind clients automatically for anything outstanding has also allowed us to keep moving on jobs um, the right team member is now getting the information faster versus our traditional inbox system from pre-carbon days. And can you talk to us a little bit about how you use client tasks, uh, the, the client task feature in carbon to engage with your clients, what, what that does and what that process looks like, particularly to someone who doesn't, doesn't, isn't familiar with carbon and what that experience is like for your clients at their end? The client task feature is brilliant. 
uh, we have set templates within different work types, whether that might be a BAS job or payment summaries, a zero support or set up, or, or obviously a year end tax job. We have preset templates and then the staff member who is directly working on that job is able to take those templates, edit them specifically for that client and send either from them or on behalf of our client managers. Uh, our clients then log into the Carbon portal and see a reduced version, uh, a nicer, less internal junk version uh, of that list of queries and then they're able to reply. And that becomes a very natural process between our firm and the clients via that client task comments. Uh, clients love it. We've had really great feedback uh, about how organized that client task portal is um, and how they are easily able to see exactly what's outstanding and what's required. And very quickly, as it comes back through our triage, when they comment, we're able to jump on that straight away. So if they've supplied the wrong thing or something's incomplete, we're able to reply directly to them um, and just keep that thread flowing very easily, very naturally. Fantastic. Um, so, if, if we were to take carbon away from you, what would what would you miss most? What would be the what would be the result? If carbon were taken away from us, I'm not sure we'd have time to miss it. We would be so busy trying to rebuild our our firm. Um, we have rebuilt our team around the abilities that carbon has allowed, and we've created mini managers almost out of pretty much all of our team now. Uh, they're able to have contact with clients either directly or indirectly. Uh, so if we didn't have carbon at no notice, we would be a mess. <laughs> and what, what, what is it that makes carbon so different to your other standard practice management systems, do you think? We've tried and viewed other practice management systems in the past. Uh, carbon was a, a standout for us uh, due to its user friendliness for everybody, uh, clients and internal team members. Um, and also it's just flexibility. Uh, it doesn't try to do too many functions. We've seen it time and time again where practice management systems try to incorporate too many things, whether that be time tracking or invoicing, whip reporting, all of that sort of thing. And Carbon sticks to the workflow management and does that just so much better than anything we've seen. Fantastic. And in terms of the results, um, are there any, any figures or metrics you can put on in terms of how Time, how much time carbon is saving your team or anything like that? Uh, we estimate carbon saved us probably 30 hours a week in terms of workflow management or information management. Um, and what we can't value, uh, but has become very important to our business is the way that it has changed staff attitudes towards client contact. Um, it's made staff step up or it's, it's given them a platform to use in order to step up to have client contact to take control over their own workflow um, and the empowerment that that's given our staff is just invaluable for a firm who highly prides themselves on having dynamic team members and creating and delivering a really high value service to our clients. Brilliant and I think just to, to finish off is there any any advice you have for any other accounting firms out there who are facing similar issues to what you once did um, and what, what would be yeah what would be your one bit of advice you could give them? Our advice to other firms is always to go in favour of carbon. Uh, stop trying to make the wrong system work for you uh, simply because that's what you've had in the past or because you felt you haven't got your value out of it. Um, let it go. Chances are you're wasting more time than you realise and you're missing out on the team of, of the, your, that you have reaching their full potential. Um, we don't have any regrets making the switch to carbon and we've told plenty of people that and we'll continue to do so.